Most people don't know that pregnant women are more likely to develop mental health issues. Uh, and this is more true in a country like India. This is something I stumbled upon a few years ago when I was in college and I started reading about maternal mental health. I realized that it went against the grain of something very fundamental that we've been taught all our lives, which is that the most unbreakable bond is between a mother and a child. And what I realized was that when you develop mental health issues during your pregnancy, you may not be able to develop that kind of bond with your child. Um, I started reading a lot about this topic. I started looking at statistics, at policies, um, at groundwork that was being done to counter this issue. And the one thing that stood out for me was that there was not enough data around India. There weren't enough lived experience stories of women who've experienced this. So I started with a very simple idea, which was that through your pregnancy, the person that you're meeting the most and the person that you have a very trust-based relationship with is your ob gyne right? And I realized that while it's um, maybe unreasonable to expect a mental health professional to sit in on every one of your appointments during your pregnancy, you're going to be meeting your ob gyne anyway. So if we can equip them with the basic skills to screen a woman for her mental health, that is just to ask basic questions about how she's doing, is she okay, is she taken care of, then we can go a very long way in nipping this problem in the bud and making sure that all women are taken care of. So the idea was to um, equip ob gynees with the basic skills to te uh, screen women for their mental health. And um, this, of course, uh, seemed like a very simple idea in my head. And so I needed to run it by mental health professionals. So I approached a few mental health professionals and um, we decided to work on this together. So we started by running a survey where we collected data on the status of maternal mental health in India. And uh, we used this survey to then pitch our idea for a campaign on maternal mental health to governments and hospitals. Um, also on the side, I have an initiative called Petronus where we run campaigns on mental health and uh, we started educating people on this topic through that as well. So uh, because I believe that this is not just something that you can do in silos through policy change, it also requires a systemic change in the form of conversation. Um, and then finally, I uh, ran a petition through change.org um, where I petitioned to the state health commissioner and I asked him to conduct mandatory screenings across all hospitals in the state um, to test for maternal mental health. As we know, mental health is something that's so stigmatized that we very rarely talk about it, especially in Indian families. It's so rare for us to even ask each other something as simple as, how are you? Um, and as you can imagine, maternal mental health is even lesser known of an issue. Um, I think one mistake that we often make is that when a woman is pregnant and then right after her uh, delivery, we forward all our attention on the child and we forget about the mother. The mother is sidelined, there's no one who is looking out for her health. And that's something we need to change. This is something we need to change at a community level. Uh, it has to be done with your friends, with your families, making sure that we are building resilient communities is the first step. Because as we know, the ratio of mental health professionals in the country is so skewed. We have about 0.75 psychiatrists for one lakh population. And so there is no way that we can address the mental health issues of every single person in the country. And so what we need to do is make sure that the community itself is building resilience. And then the next step would be therapy and hospitals. Postpartum depression is a very real problem. And it's not just enough for us to be aware of it. We also need to start putting that awareness into action by giving the mother as much attention as the child. 